Good afternoon, it's EMS Automotive, manufacturers of restoration sheet metal. We manufacture everything in Detroit. Today we're going to talk about the 61 to 64. In front of us we have a 64, four three quarter ton truck in our research center that we're using. Interesting truck, always in Colorado. Uh, we're going to take a look at the engine. Believe it or not, I believe it's the last year for the 392. Um, V8. Nothing spectacular, nothing spectacular about it, but it, it is there. This is interesting. It does have power, a power steering pump on the solid axle. So we have a power steering pump, which may be a dealer install option, may have been factory. It could have come both ways. And the uh, uh, traditional arm burner exhaust pipe going over the top, which burned everybody's arm. Two barrel carb, 392. This one has a four speed with a first gear, first gear granny low. So it had a deep thing. It was actually a camper special. We're going to go around to the side, eight bolt lugs down here on the tires. And this one has these split rims. One of the last years they had those. So very uh, dangerous tires, tire and wheel combination to have. This truck, right now the bed is off. We're going to walk over to the bed. We, we had removed the bed because we're working on, working on some new products for the 61 to 64 trucks. Notice that this one has, this door over here, this has dual gas tanks added to the factory tank. Now we're not exactly sure if it was a factory, inst uh, dealer installed factory accessory or aftermarket. Kind of remember them as a kid, but as we took it apart, it's an interesting topic to see. This is eight foot bed. We have the door, we're gonna go over here on the other side where the door is open. We're on the passenger side of the bed. Here's the door. Okay, dual tanks, you open it up and there's your, your, your filler nozzle right there. Like I said, we don't know if this was factory authorized accessory or something the dealer put on. The cameraman's gonna come around and he's going to show you the tanks. Okay, what we have is we got a tank on the passenger side and a tank on the driver's side, and the frame comes through the middle. Um, interesting that it looks like it holds about 10 gallons per side. Heavy duty steel mounted to the bed, not the frame. Very, very professionally done. Okay, we're going to go back to the truck. Basically, when the bed is on the truck, the gas tank would be between the uh, spring mount in here, a fuel line, a fuel line from each side would go under the cab and meet up with a master control valve, although I had to take the handle off. Right here, right over here is the handle, so the driver could have reached down and selected any one of the three gas tanks. And the stock fuel pump would have drawn the fuel from whatever tank was selected by the driver. Like I said, it, it really looks very, very professional. Over here on the dash, notice over here is another selector switch. You pick left, right, or the center main tank, and that and the fuel gauge, the factory fuel gauge would read what was ever in the tank. So you could select from the tank and also know how much fuel was in each tank. Uh, like I said, with a 292 V8, which was not known for fuel economy, with granny lows and a heavy tow, I would imagine that 30-some gallons or 40 gallons of fuel was badly needed. Um, remember, EMS Automotive for any of your Ford F100 pickup truck needs. Detroit, Michigan, 248. 546-0232 or look us up on the internet emsautomotive.com